Hello and welcome to another episode of Coffee Fusion. This week we're going to look at the swan. Hey everyone, so welcome to the first episode in the Latte Art 102 series. If you haven't done Latte Art 101, I'll put a playlist up in the corner and I suggest you check that out first because they are the first uh, simple patterns, whereas Latte Art 102 is going to get a little bit trickier. So back when I was a beginner at Latte Art, the swan was one of those patterns that I held up in high regard as something I'd be able to do one day. And I remember the first time I tried, my swans looked average. But it was a pattern that I kept chipping away at because I knew if I practiced and I learned the uh, individual styles or techniques that go into pouring the swan, one day I'd be able to get it. So if you're finished Latte Art 101 and you're wanting to kind of take your skills to the next level, I think this is the first uh, pattern that you need to test out. We're going to try some other ones along the way, but let's start off with the swan. So first things first, as with all Latte Art, you want to set your crema so that you have a nice canvas to work with. And after that, you want to pour the first element of this pattern, which is the uh, lake that the swan is swimming on. The more traditional way of doing this is with a rosetta base. So as you would with a normal rosetta, push in and start your wiggle. And as the uh, pattern starts to wrap around on itself, that's where you want to stop. So now you want to move slightly to one side of the center and push in the bulb. And that's going to be the bottom of the body of the swan. From here, you want to wiggle back up the cup uh, like you would a rosetta as well. And this is going to form the uh, feathers or the wings of the swan. Now, unlike the rosetta where you cut down the middle here, you want to cut down the side, moving back into the center of the cup, push in another bulb, and that's going to be the uh, body of the swan. And then in one motion, swing around to pour the neck and push in a heart, and that's going to be your head. Now, if you want, you can also pour the uh, lake as a tulip base. And so instead of pouring that rosetta base to begin with, you push in a few bulbs to create the base of the lake with a tulip style. Lastly, once you've got both of those happening, you can try and pour a swan with two sets of wings. And so you do that in a similar way, but before you pour the body, you pour another set of wings on the other side, and then you push the body into the middle and swing around and push that neck in and that head in as you would normally. I first saw this pattern done by a person by the name of Will Priestley. Um, he's an Australian latte artist um, from back in the day, was number two in the world at one stage. And uh, when I first saw this pattern, I was like, if I can ever pour that, I will be super happy. So if you're a basic latte artist right at the moment and you want to develop your skills, I think this is a good pattern for you to practice. Of course, if you are going to try some swans, make sure you let me see them. So uh, you can either post them on the Coffee Fusion Facebook page or tag at the Coffee Fusion on Instagram, or uh, you can Snapchat me, which is at Coffee Fusion. Um, yeah, let me see what you're uh, doing and how you're coming along with your uh, latte art. And remember, as always, if you learned something from this video, you can help me out by clicking that like button. That really helps me. And if this is your first Coffee Fusion video and you like the style of what's going on here, click subscribe because I want to be the best coffee channel on YouTube and there'll be lots of information uh, coffee related coming your way. Lastly, as well as these YouTube videos, Coffee Fusion is also a roastery. So if your hopper's looking a little bit empty and you want to try some of our coffee, assuming you live within Australia, you can check that out. It's coffeefusion.com.au. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a suggestion for some latte art you'd like to see in Latte Art 102, put it down in the comments below. Remember to check out Latte Art 101 if you haven't already. Otherwise, I'll see you next video. Keep frothing.